Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutchy Gaming, and a new video uh, with a few tips and tricks on how to try and avoid bait league stars. Now we've all been there, we've come across a league start video that the build looks absolutely incredible, it looks like it's been fleshed out, there's example gameplay, there's leveling, and it looks too good to be true. And unfortunately in most of these cases, it is. Now there is the odd occasion where this build comes up out of nowhere, it looks absolutely incredible on a shoestring budget, and it works. But I would say for every one of those videos that exist, there's nine videos that exist, that whether deliberately or not, are just misleading players about how the build's going to perform. The one issue I have about a lot of league starters is the title. Best league starter ever, best league starter to date, uh, cheapest league starter, destroy the atlas. And then in the video at the end, they go, oh, well, it's probably not the best bosser and it's not the quickest mapper, but it's a pretty fun skill. Why are people not more honest with the titles? You get peanuts for YouTube videos. I oh, know I make them. You get next to nothing. Why basically drag your own name through the mud for like 10 or 20,000 YouTube views that might get you a Domino's pizza if you're lucky? It's just ridiculous. Um, title your videos honestly the number one poison concoction league style or something like that. At least if you're using a certain skill, Reference that it might be the best that type, but there's so many the best league starter videos and they're just clickbait straight away from the off. Even if the guide is good, it's not the best league starter. There can't be 30 best league stars that can basically be one. Next thing that really annoys me, this is going to be a grind in my gears kind of video, but the next thing that annoys me is people that do videos and nearly every content creator is guilty of this. They'll take a level 100 character from standard, they'll de-level him to 67, chuck gear on him and put him in a T16 map and go, this is 10C gear at league start and look how it's doing in the map. But hundreds of times during these videos, these characters are very close to death. The difference between a level 68 character and level 100 is probably about 15 to 20% life and 15 to 20% mana. You also don't need to give a shit about dying because you don't need to level up. I don't know why these people, yeah, I wouldn't want to de-level 100 character, but there's no way they haven't got another character they could de-level or level another character up to 68. It just smacks to me that it's laziness. Like, it doesn't take very long if you chuck on twink gear to level a character up. It's maybe three hours. But rather than that, they'll take a level 100 character in standard, spec 68 points into the skill tree, but leave the character at level 100, which is a massive misrepresentation about how that character's going to perform. The other thing I would look out for is guides where you cannot see a transition from your budget gear to the first set of gear you're recommending. I've seen a couple of guides recently, again, I'm not going to name names, where the lowest gear set is probably 10x at league start. The gear set before that is leaving campaign on a five link. And there is no transition. And, and this is, again, I'm not going to name the skill because it might give away the guide. The skill is not viable as a league starter on no gear. But the guide makes out that it is, but it 100% it is not. And anyone that follows this particular guide is going to have a very bad time. They're going to abandon it and they're going to have to come back once they've got 10x to get the gear. Now, I understand, or let's say divines, I don't know. I don't know how the, how the currency is going. But um, I understand that you could just say, well, you can grind that 10x. Yeah, but you could league start another build and grind 100x um, in heist. That doesn't make the build league start viable. I think the misconception is league start is different to what it was before. A few years ago, League Start was just, can I get my red maps done? But now you've got Void Stones and people want to get their four Void Stones done or at least get the money to pay for carries for those Void Stones. And if your character can't breach red maps without 5x worth of investment, it's not a League Starter. And the majority of people that follow YouTube videos are not players that have a huge amount of knowledge on the game most of the time because they're either going elsewhere or making their own builds. So they're not going to be people that can be like, oh, I know because I'm really efficient, I can go and make... 100 cows now in heist they may not even know heist exists as a leveling strategy they're just going to go through the campaign as a vanilla player would and then they're going to start mapping they're going to start transitioning to the build and then they're going to hit brick wall and that is an issue with quite a lot of build guides that i've seen and there's even been some in the last couple of days where people are saying right let's do a new character they take a character from their um standard or the current league that's say level 70 75 and they kick them out on all this gear that yeah you could get a league start at five or ten x but again there's nothing that proves that build is league start viable. They haven't leveled it through the campaign. They've not trudged through early white and yellow maps on trash gear and a six link or a five link. They've gone straight to gear that's probably four to five X, six link, 2020 gems and stuff like that. And it's just unreasonable because it's not where your build is going to be at league start. 
And that's why I feel there's not many good lead start guides because the amount you have to do to actually make sure they're viable, especially if it's something that hasn't been done before, is huge. You firstly have to level the character and make sure that the way you're recommending that you level the character works. And you can't go level with Stormbrand and Cremation and then spend 60 points in respect because a lot of people that follow League Starter Guides are fairly either new or inexperienced players and they won't want to do that or be able to. And in all honesty, the campaign is not really the issue because people can get through the campaign, whatever. Like there's not been many builds where it cannot make it through the campaign. It just might take you a while where you'd normally do six. It might take 10 hours. Yeah, you fell for a bait League Starter, but it doesn't mean you can't push through that campaign area. The issue I find most builds come across is they'll go, right, kill Katava, then farm for a six link, this unique that drops from Uber Elder, so it's not going to be available for the first three or four days, um, this unrealistic set of rares, and there's no gap in between. And the reason is because there is no gap because it's not viable without those items. And there's tons of builds like that. So if you're thinking about playing a build, you must have a character in standard. Go in standard. Spec the stuff that they would have at the end of the campaign and see how you are getting through white and yellow maps on a semi-SSS environment. If it sucks, it's probably going to suck in trade league. Another issue that I have with a lot of league starters is people quoting prices from mid-leagues or end leagues. And again, a couple of new guards have popped up recently. This is a 1x build. You look at the gear, it is a Mark of the Elder. It is a Watcher's Eye. It is a Stygian Vise. It's 2120 gems. And, it, and, and, and their justification is it was 1x when I bought them. But the clickbait of the thing is 1x league starter, and it's just absolute bullshit. Just be honest, 20x league starter without it is dead in the water. And then the last thing is really, does the guide explain how to actually play the skill? Now, it is very difficult to make a guide. And I do think if you're going to make a detail one, it ends up being really long. Because you need to cater for not all players. Like I don't think necessarily league start guides have to cater for people that don't know what um, an exalt is or a jeweler's orb or something like that. And I don't think it necessarily has to cater for the people that want to push their build to mirror tier level because it's going to be relevant for like 0.1%. But in between that, it's got to cover people who are familiar with the game to people who are quite experienced with the game. So you need to cover at least the mechanics of the skill. And I've seen a lot of build guides they're good builds, don't get me wrong, they're good builds. But they'll go through how to level, they'll go through the POB, they'll go through the skills, but they don't really explain how the skill works, how the interactions with your other skill gems work, how certain niche mechanics might work with the gear. Now this isn't saying that the League Starter is bait, but what it does mean is that content creator is probably going to get hundreds of people flooding onto his YouTube page or POE forum page saying this build doesn't work, it sucks, blah, 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 because people have misunderstood maybe how to play the skill. And then last but not least, in terms of things not to fall for, there is one channel on YouTube where if you go there, then you deserve everything you get. Now, I'm not going to say their name, but if you went on to Google and put in Path of Exile Builds, it's going to come up with a website. That website is absolutely fine. It is the official forum. If you put that same search into YouTube, I guarantee you the first one that pops up is this particular content creator. They do rmts on the websites they steal other people's builds not only do they steal other people's builds they steal unviable old builds and then when it doesn't work it will drive you to their website and they'll try and sell you in-game gear how it still exists and how so many people still watch their rubbish clickbait videos is beyond me don't go there and if you're silly enough to follow their builds then all for you you are probably going to end up bricking your build and you're going to have to start again that's it for my ranty video i just wanted to bring some quick points out to show people what you can look out for to make sure you're not falling for a bait league star. But to summarize, have they proved the bill can level through the campaign on SSF gear? Yes. Have they proved that it can get to red maps on a reasonable budget and are there POBs to show it can get there? Yes. Tick. Brilliant. Have they shown a reasonable route to get to T14 maps? Whether this is spending your know, 1x, 5x, 10x, whatever, have they shown how to get there? If they have, great. Tick. Have they shown how you can either get your voice stones or are going to be able to farm currency in red maps? Get your voice stones? Tick. Another great one. Have they shown that the build is viable in terms of patch notes, um, manifestos, stuff like that? Have they made sure that they've gone through the patch notes and told you what's changed uh, from league to league? And lastly, are they reputable? Like there are some content creators out there that you know 100% you can rely on their build league after league. And if they did actually make a mistake, you know they would 100% be rushing to get a video out to rectify that, show you how to fix the build and all that sort of thing. Um, 
sometimes mistakes happen. People think a build guide is viable, and something might happen, like a unique spikes to an insane price because everyone wants to play this build, and that build is not unviable without it, but it's not going to push as a cheap league starter. So you need to work ways around it. And if that happens, good content creators will bring out videos to say, look, yeah, hold my hands up. This is actually pretty bad. Here's how you fix it. I'm not going to promote these channels because they're already, most of them are quite big anyway. And there are some awesome up and coming small content creators like me. Um, and I don't want to drive traffic away from them. Just because someone is small, it doesn't mean their build guide is not good. Give them a chance. If it's a half hour video and you're working and you can have it on in the side, just have it on. If after 10 minutes, it doesn't sound like your sort of build, turn it off, find another one. But just because a content creator is small and doesn't have a lot of views, it doesn't mean their work is not awesome. There could be a hidden gem of a build somewhere on YouTube that's just got no traction. Um, and that's it for this video. I've ranted for far too long and it's getting way too hot this morning. Uh, so there'll be another few videos coming out before league start. Once we get full details about Trickster, I'm going to have a look and see if there's a league start build I might be able to do with that. But um, there's been quite a few people asking me, is lightning strike viable on trickster um and the answer is viable probably yes but it's going to be nowhere near as good as raider um so don't get baited if someone brings out say a guide similar to mine and just sticks all the stuff on a trickster it won't be as good um but that is definitely it for this video um so i'm going to sign out and i'll see you in the next one